Question 1,479. Globalization has birthed far-reaching ramifications from displacement to sweatshops, as well as bustling economies on the backs of others, uh, and the destruction of individualism in countries the world over. If you could reverse the effects of globalization with the knowledge that it might make people's lives worse in order to make them better, would you? You broke up enough that yeah, I missed several salient up, words oh, that were like, through really that important. To... Did I? Well, no, I, I got it. Are you reversing just globalization? Just, just, just put the fucking thing in the side chat so we can read it. Okay. <laughs> Don't read it again. Don't read it out loud again, please. <laughs> 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 Badger says yes. Don Arb Head says moving on, skip it. And Jenny's gone over to the Reds. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not it, it's not really possible to reverse the effects of globalization. Um because yeah. every it because some of the skills that are have been lost in the kind of Western society. Um have been picked up in the eastern and and, and the developing and also um there are certain things that will grow in um developing nations that won't grow in kind of more temperate climates so the idea of not having coffee come from the likes of brazil and chile and stuff like that is is not practicable or possible so i would love to um reverse some of the effects of globalization but it, it, knowing that it's not possible. I, I, it depends on what effects of you can certainly reduce it. Reverse. If you if you if you're going to sit there and think you can change all the effects of globalization, you're not you're never going to do it. Not, just it's just not going to happen. I, I agree with Crafty, uh, but if. if if you want to look at selected items, I think that you can make a make big changes in those. I mean, the question um, is, what is the opposite? I mean, is the opposite of globalization nationalism? Isolationism. No, the, it's isolationism. isolationism. Um, it's tribalism. Yeah. It's, um, well, it, no, it'd, be, it'd be going back to sort of like um, national economies, um, yeah. which is, you know, um, and at that, I'm not do. Please not said national economy. It's not nationalized. It's two different things. Um, but it's the fact that you know, like um, that each nation has to have its own sort of industry. That it, like, for example, like a car industry or something. Each nation would be producing its own. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, that it's, would be. It's, it's actually is this I, called I isolationism? Yeah, yeah I but can't you, really see the return to that. I, how severe of isolation would you would you, somebody try to take it back to if you take it back to uh, far enough you're going to have countries warring over the river yes. that crosses the, their borders well, the thing is, and things the all thing over is, again. any state and even you know any state that is seeks, seeks to be completely isolationist um has pretty much pretty much failed in, or has um has experienced huge problems um but is that the, well, is that pressure, though because the pressure of it global capital puts on that um you know is it is too much for, for any isolationist state to bear you, you don't know? think that's um, because of the politics or the foreign policies of certain it's countries it's, it's partially partially <laughs> um, okay, are you but, are you working on the assumption that globalization is bad here dave i don't know <laughs> Well, the, the, so. whole, the whole from, from the first start of the question, it says uh, has birth far reaching ramifications from displacement to sweatshops. And mm -hmm. um, I would rather see instead of just pretending globalization doesn't work or reversing it, I would rather bring some of the lessons learned uh, but I mean, and, the and the victories to those developing nations that are actually displaced or working for um absolutely nothing do you know what i mean but again that has to be done um on a global scale you can't just do it um individually because um what will happen is somewhere else will be exploited if you can't if you don't do it as a global society then it doesn't happen and yeah, I, mean, I was gonna happen. say first of all that that's that's just 
putting one side of the coin there. There are good things. And plus at this point, reversing globalization would be the end of all of us because the only way we're going to do things like overcome climate change is by doing so as a group, yeah. not by this individual little fucking tribe. So I'm gonna say no, I'm not gonna do that. Can I catch him yeah, on the chat it's... first? Let me catch him on the chat. Go, globalization <laughs> is is an, an well, yeah. completely natural facet of human beings. It once once we got to the point where where travel for the majority of the people on Earth or a large large portion of the people on Earth um, was very accessible, it was inevitable. It, it, mm. it would never because be because it's avoided. exploitative. But right, let me catch up on the chat. Yeah, yeah. right. We'll Brainbug. Get into this in a minute, but... Brainbug says there's no inch of the world that has not been affected by globalization. Tusk says, without the benefits of globalization, would I even be aware of the disastrous effects of globalization? Uhan says, I changed my answer to cheese. <laughs> Mad just says, <laughs> who, who, who's just said that one about aware of globalization? Tusk. Tusk. Hey, Tusk, you know, we already have that. There's a whole bunch of people who think that um, uh, America first and, and we don't need anything and they isol trying to isolate us and we just elected them out of office. Yeah, they'll be back. Uh, Badger says, small forest villages. Nerdy says, can I use a magic or a time machine to reverse globalization? No. Badger says, small fucking forest villages. <laughs> Doorknob Head says, globalization has birthed far-reaching ramifications. For We're there. He's repeating what I just said. Uh, Nerdy says, what about small forest villages? Doorknob Head says, world ah, why is he quoting what I'm saying? Uh, won't even, uh, do they want me to paste the fucking question in there? It won't fit in, will it? That's the problem. Uh, <laughs> Analyst has hand raised. Who had the hand raised? Uh, bad Semper goes, I'll go with globalization, bad, yes. Maverick says, globalization equals bad. Nerdy says, how about flat earthalization? What, we make the earth flat? We could do that. Please probably. no. Please no. Don't even. I think we could pull that off. Uh, the NWO has teamed up with the Illuminati to create Jewish space lasers. That's globalization, right? <laughs> yes, Maverick it says, is. Take it on a smaller scale. What is good for me isn't necessarily good for others. Dog says, if reversing globalization closed down the shit shop pound land, I'm up for it. Badger says, did I mention small forest villages? No, you should tell us more about it. Jeff? Okay. Because um, I think when we... we I, I think so. we've had some different sort of working definitions of what we call globalization going on within this discussion. Um, I mean, when we generally when we think about it, we think we're really thinking about glo global capital is mm -hmm. generally how that term is understood. Um, fortunately, I think to to undo that, it's going to have to be done on a global scale. To undo the fucking damage it's caused, it's probably going to have to be done on a global scale as well. Um, how we go about doing that, I've got to be honest, I don't have a fucking clue. Um, but, uh... Dawn Uphead says, yeah. worldwide trade in air-delivered nukes. <laughs> See, this is my thing, where I'm coming from. Wouldn't it be far worse to reverse globalization? Think about, okay, we've got people working in sweatshops, that's fucking horrible, and they're earning shit money but you're gonna reverse it take away the sweatshops now they have no money and they're already fucked well, like, well from that know. the part about the last part of the question is it gets worse before it gets better so i'm assuming well, that we're taking that away but we're going to do something else to help them out probably ultimately globalization will burn itself out no you know? No, well, here, well, here's no, no, because it because there's it does a... always it does always thrive on continued expand and continued yeah. expansion. It, it I mean, can only expand so so much. You have yeah, seen the scale that, of the that's universe. What, that's, a, that's what they said two hundred years ago. But look, my my answer <laughs> my answer is this: um, the problem for me isn't globalization. The pro problem for me is free market capitalism. I'm in favor of regulatory capitalism, to be honest with you. But and I know that'll make people angry. Um, but I'm for regulatory capitalism and with strong unions. And once you get strong unions into the likes of uh, sweatshops, um, then conditions get better. Uh, and and that can be ramified throughout the world. Um, I'm for the more equitable distribution of wealth because 
six on individuals hold more wealth than the bottom 30 countries. I don't think that's sustainable. Um, so in in that, yes, Godless Scummer has a point. Um, that can't that can burn itself out because it's not really possible to continue it. Um, but the question is, can you reverse um the the effects of globalization as a on an isol isolationist basis. No, you can't. You need the global society working together to stop the likes of um, minimum wage infringement or sweatshop conditions or basically slave labor. That requires um, agreement from everybody. Yeah, you exactly. Only take, it's, it's basically, your, what, you're, what we have at the moment is which country is willing to exploit its own people the most. Yeah, what it's a race to the bottom. We already, we we already see it. I mean, really, the thing is, we need an actual, you know, movement from below on a fucking global scale to actually get this anything done about this. That that is the difficult part. How how you you can't do that? You you can't force well, yeah, this exactly. on them. That's <laughs> difficult. That is <laughs> here it lies the problem. It's difficult enough to it's difficult enough to do that in one fucking country, let alone across the world. But, you know, you can um. <laughs> I think it's like, I think just it's thinking, incredible. Thinking just elect, elect, just electing, um, just electing people into fucking office isn't going to do fuck all, you know. So you're calling for violent revolution? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I, I, I think it's incredibly uh, ironic that bourgeoisie. if if you try to get rid of globalization, the people who are most abused by it are going to be the first people who are going to stand up and say, you can't do this. It's <laughs> probably yeah, right. Exactly. Exactly. You know? because and, they go and the from... next group, and the next group that's going to do it is going to be the fat, fat, lazy, comfortable middle class because they won't get to have two of their, two of their TVs, only one. Um, and maybe not even a, uh, two pickups will only be able to have one. And, and they're not going to stand for that. They're not going to only one. Lower pickup? Our standard of are you a class. savage? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tusk says national economies necessarily lead to wars of expansion and empire the only thing globalization has achieved is the temporary cessation of empire building uh, mm. Brainbug says globalization what? would go <laughs> temporary um, I yeah okay I, don't be funny you could pretty much draw the fucking American empire on the map if you really needed to but so. the American empire hasn't Expanded that much in there, there's many empires. Yeah, um, have, have a little look, have a little look at where they are. No, no, I don't disagree, they the have, and, and I have, I mean, you know, yes, they have a very different way of I mean, doing an empire, which yeah. is interesting. Yeah, I mean, didn't they, didn't, sorry, I mean, didn't they just like bomb the fuck out of another country like a few days ago? So, mm. you know, yes, it was yeah, delivered they with love. Yeah. They it don't hang on, oh, put a love heart on it. But but they don't own Syria. They can bomb it, but they don't own it. There's a difference. Yeah. Not that yeah, that yeah, makes it, it any but, better. Yeah, but... it, takes, <laughs> take, it takes on a different form than old school colonialism. I'll, I'll grant that. But it still it exercises influence in a very similar way. Uh, Brainbug says globalization would go a long way towards mending some damage of globalization. I mean, my issue is, is I don't see. Uh, I, uh, the first thing is, is I think the solution to globalism is tariffs. I think you want free trade. You want if you want to have a free market, you need to balance it. Where the price of having slave labour in this country is costed into the country it goes into, but I think that democratically that just gets elected out straight away because it puts the price of things up. Yeah, the, the people pay pay the tariffs, not not the companies. No. They've never paid a tariff. Um, Nerdy says, "Can't we just move to cashless society like in Star Trek?" We're a long way from that. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Dog says suicide bombing Amazon drivers delivering Trump is adoration and desperation. Okay. Uh, the Maverick says globalization equals Western strategy to prevent or negate the inevitable rise of China, Russia, India. Simple. Rather than the fact it's not preventing the rise of China. Now, China, as it's currently going, I I don't know what its long term future is, but it's fucking gonna be outpace America. It's on in the my rise. Lifetime. Yeah, um, and America doesn't seem to care, or politically, it doesn't care enough to actually compete against them, because you require high taxes to do that. 
<laughs> Harmonica Man says, stop educating. The Rage says, free market socialism. Very good. Uh, Tusk says, military action isn't necessarily empire building. America is more interested in protectionism. Uh, Nerdy says, we could all live in small forest villages. That's quite a good idea. He should have thought, no one else suggested that. Uh, Uhan says, hear me out. We find some forests, we build villages, and make them small. There's too many people. Still too many uh, people, yeah. Can I just um, add to that a little bit? Like, yeah, go on. You understand how badly we <laughs> fuck up those ecosystems if we all just went and moved into the forest, right? Like, yes, let's just I, put no, them in the like, forest it, in order to make be, villages. It'd be like Endor. That's what it yeah, no, be it lovely. No, it we're cannibals. We don't have enough forests, <laughs> first of all, to, to move the population into forests. We don't have healthy enough forests to support the population if you move them into forests. Um, there's there's no way that could work, not even a little bit. Uh, Ricard, Ricardo <laughs> says, what I said, Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> Ricardo says, globalization is the culprit in capitalism's crimes as oxygen is to blame for forest fires. Johan <laughs> says, fudge the ecosystem. <laughs> Uh, Badger says small forest villages also remove most humans. So you're suggesting now a mass population wipeout. Wipe out. I, I do like um, Doorknob had uh, his comment saying, make the forest small, we're working on it. <laughs> That's how you was... There are those who would argue that you don't need to end globalization, you just need to end the patriarchy behind it. No, I, I don't think the patri fixing the patriarchy there would solve anything. Okay, so nerdy, you say plant a small forest and then put a village there, whatever. But the thing is that there aren't, or there are only certain places in the world where a forest is going to grow right and, and and support this kind of thing. So you're still moving into another territory, another ecosystem, and taking it over and destroying it. Especially if you're going to fucking plant a forest there, because guess what? If it wasn't there before, <laughs> we just go to Mars. Then globalization wouldn't affect us. Look at what you've done, nerdy. Look at what you've done. You've broken Manda. Damn it, nerdy. <laughs> okay, I'm good. I'm good. But just like... She has a bit of the giggles now. You argued exactly against what I said. There we go. <laughs> so. Cafe, ha Cafe has exactly the solution we need. We just need to bomb the major populations of the world with aerosol DMT bombs from planes. And Badger says, Manda, stop shitting on my forest villages. It's recyclable. <laughs> Burn down the forest, build condos. She's just trying to fertilize it for you, damn it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Tusk <laughs> says, well, <laughs> well, obviously there's no point in protecting America from the commies if there's no profit in it. Harmonica Man says, excuse me for a minute, Huey Louie wants to talk harmonica, does he? America is the commies. Just the American public won't, won't accept it. We, we are we are a very socialist nation, people. <laughs> How's that healthcare and, going for you? And the yeah. only people that don't know it are the Republicans. You know, we're socialists. <laughs> Jeff says, Dave, if we go to Mars, it'll be just look, looked at as a new market. If it's not globalization, we're on another planet. Planetization. So yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't become the market. We're still the market. It's just in a different place. <laughs> if you enjoyed that, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. If you think you've got a better answer or just want to tell us how wrong we are, leave a comment down below. Subscribe down here for new questions every day and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on our live shows. If you click over here, you'll see our latest upload. Over here, for what YouTube thinks you'll love the most, and finally, for a complete playlist of all our currently released questions, click here.